Hello, welcome to this session. What I'm going to talk about today is how to connect to an Excel workbook that has multiple sheets in it from Power BI. I'm going to show you how we usually connect to it, but I'm going to show you the optimal way of doing it. But before we start, let's go and watch my intro. Let's now look at the Excel workbook that we're going to connect to. So this is the sample data. These are just sales data. And you will notice in here that we have three sheets in this workbook. I'm now going to open my Power BI desktop and we will connect to the sample data Excel spreadsheet. How do we normally connect to an Excel spreadsheet? We go into the Excel workbook, choose the file that we wanted to connect to, hit the open button, and we will be redirected to the navigator and we will see all three sheets that we have in that workbook. We choose all three workbook and transform the data and we are redirected to our Power Query editor. And from here, we can combine the three sheets by choosing the combined and append queries. And I will choose the append query as new, choose three or more tables, choose the sheets, and after which I'll hit the OK button. And all three sheets now are appended to this new query called append. And I will just rename this as sales. And we can now close and apply the Power Query Editor and that will now import all the data from that Excel spreadsheet into our Power BI. And if you will notice in this data pane, we still have the 2020, 2021 and 2022 sheets. So we need to hide this so that the users will not be confused because that would be redundant data. So I'm just going to choose the I for hiding those sheets. And once we go back to our visualization, we only have one table, which is the sales. Nothing's wrong with that. Normal way of connecting to multiple sheets from a workbook. Let's save this and I'm going to call this report 1. But we can do better than this. If we look at the size of this, that's 41 KB. Okay? And there are two components of a report. There's our visualization and there's also the data. If your data is big, the loading of the Power BI desktop report will be very slow. So what we wanted is we wanted to optimize this. And I'm going to show you now the optimal way of connecting to multiple sheets in a workbook. So I'm going to launch again a Power BI desktop in here. And we'll connect to that same workbook. So I'm going to choose the Excel workbook, choose the sample data, hit the open button, and I will just choose one sheet in here. It doesn't matter which one. I'll hit the transform data, and you will notice in here that I only have one table, which is 2020. And from here, in order for us to import those two other sheets, in the applied steps, you will see that there are automatically four applied steps in here. The first step is the source which connects to that Excel spreadsheet. So all you need to do is delete the other steps below the source applied step. I'm going to right click the navigation 
and I'm going to delete until the end. Hit the delete and I will have just the source. And from this source, you will notice that there is one field in here which is called data and it's a table data type that includes all the sheets in that workbook. So this is all the this is all the things that we need. So right click the data field, remove the other columns, expand the data field by clicking on the two arrows. I'm not going to use the original column prefix. And once I hit the OK button, I have all the data coming from those three workbook. And of course, you will see that the headers are also included in there. So all we need to do is just have the first row in there to be the header and then delete, not delete, but we can filter out the order date in the first field by right clicking or I would filter it with the arrow, search for the order date, untick it and that will do the trick. And we can see now that the headers of those three workbooks are no longer seen. And we can now close and apply. Oh, we can rename this first called sales, close and apply. And once that is applied, you will notice that on our data window, we have only one table in there, which is the sales table. I will now save this work and name it as report two. And look at the size. It's lighter. You've got three sheets connected only to one. No merging, no combining. The transformation that we have done in there was just filtering and expanding. So, I hope you've learned something from this session. And I hope that you will stay tuned for more tips and tricks from me. If you like this, please hit that like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.